This HAN Network video is brought to you by New Canaan Foreign Car Services. On the campus of Greenwich High School, this is the HAN Network's 2017 Fall Sports Tour. I'm Frank Arnito sitting alongside the field hockey captains for the Cardinals. They are Catherine Varanis, Beth Williamson, Sailor Jeronic, and Maggie O'Gorman. Girls, thank you so much for taking time with us this afternoon. Catherine, let me start with you being named a captain heading into your senior season. What did that mean to you? Um, well, it's really great. I mean, field hockey has been a huge part of my high school experience. Um, it's how I meet a lot of my friends, and it's really great to be kind of at a top level in it and to be at that extension of a coaching staff. And, um, yeah, to be able to lead the team is, like, really important to me. So. Beth, is this group looks back on their careers and some of the past captains you guys have had. What are the lessons you've learned from those girls that this group wants to bring forward now in 2017? Um, I think – something that we need to realize is that like we have like like we're like the most powerful people on the field and like we have like we have the ability to like to bring the whole team together and I think one thing that like teams every year struggle with is like kind of bringing the team together as a whole and what we're trying to do is like do a lot of like team bonding and like getting the team to, like be together a lot and I think that's what's going to make us like really good this year. Sailor, let's talk a little bit about the summer for the Cardinals and the offseason. What were the girls doing to make sure they were staying in shape and continuing to train as you led up to preseason? Um, over the summer, we actually had a really good like programs going. We had conditioning three times a week. We did a camp called Academy International where every girl was there for a week, and we had really good coaching staff to help us out, especially when tryouts came these past four days. Um, we had a really good, a lot of people showed up. A lot of our players put in a lot of time. We also did a camp at UConn, which was really helpful. And everyone put in a lot of commitment. It was great. Maggie, let's talk a little bit about the emotions of being back on the field alongside your teammates those first days of preseason. What was that like for you? It was definitely really exciting because I think the team dynamic is really great on our team. Like, there's no little groups. Like, we're really one big unit. And it was great. Like, the first day we did 11 v 11, how easily everyone worked together and how it really looked like we've been playing all summer together. And this is definitely an experienced group. We talked about that you didn't graduate a lot of players from last year's team. How is that going to be an advantage for the Cardinals this season? Well, we were definitely a really young team last year. So now that everyone's going up a class level, we're really more experienced. And last season, we'd gone through a lot of overtime games. So we're really a more developed team. Sailor, we were just talking off the air, too. You guys had a scrimmage earlier this week against Greenwich Academy. Talk a little bit about what that game was like for the Cardinals and what impressed you out of some of the girls. Yeah, we played GA, and it was really good because we had a lot of younger players step up and get some playing time, um, like even freshmen, and it looked like we'd been playing like all summer and for like ever. Um, we had a really good team dynamic. Um, the mistakes that happened were so easily fixable, so there was like not a huge gap in our game that we have to like, there's nothing serious that we have to fix. And it's just like easy mistakes that can come together. Beth, if this team wanted to set goals for the season, what is this group hoping to accomplish together this year? Um, I don't think we have any like huge goals. I think just one thing we want to work on is like really working as a team. Cause an issue that we have a lot is like kind of struggling to work as a team, as I said before. And I think this year we can, I think we're going to do a really good job doing that, working as a team like passing quickly, like utilizing all of passes and like just working as a team overall. Catherine, if there was something unique about this year's team that's going to set it aside from the Greenwich teams of the past, what do you think that would be? I think we have a really strong um, underclassmen. We have a really strong junior class. And I think, um, you know, our captains this year, we're really going to bring the team together on that point and make sure that those underclassmen really get – you know, get the energy up and, and get playing during practice and really get involved. All right, I just have one more question for each of you here, and that's just, is that is there a game on the calendar this year that really stands out you guys are most excited to play in? Um, I think I think we're going to take every game one step at a time and just, like, constantly grow. I don't think there's exactly one. I think we have a well, couple. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Darian kicked us out of FCX last year, so I know for me personally that game's definitely on our schedule because – with the ability we have this year, it's definitely going to be a close game. Yeah. Um, another one is New Canaan, just because that was um, that did not end the way that we wanted to last year because we we were down that game and then we tied like four four I think and then they beat us in overtime. But we really want to like prove to them that like we're working really hard and we're coming for them. 
<laughs> a, a little bit of unfinished business out there from last season. Uh, girls, we want to wish you the best of luck all season long. We can't wait to see you and the Cardinals out on the field. Thank you so much for taking time with us this afternoon. Alongside the field hockey captains at Greenwich High School, this is the HAN Network's 2017 Fall Sports Tour. Stay tuned as we continue on to the rest of the conference.